Hello everybody, today I will show you the new map editor that Ben has made for Spacebit. This map is one he has made quickly and you can see you can make whatever you want. So I'll give you a quick rundown of how everything works. I like to call it T-Mod because you see here T-M-O-D. T stands for Terrain Tools, M stands for Material Tools, O Object Tools and D is for the map details. So let's see what we have here. First of all you can just choose for space which will essentially remove a block and make there be nothing. Deep hole uh, does not seem to work yet. It should in the future. Ah, it does work. It uh, It's the elevation actually. It gives you a lower elevation. As with this one, it does work. This one it's just the normal height or the middle ground cliff is higher than that and you give it steep cliff it's higher yet you see the terrain all blends nicely when you uh, if I like make a new cliff here and here it all interconnects really nice then you can also have a bigger impact area Let's see here, bam, or three ginormous. If you want to make something big really quickly, you can see it goes on forever. You can see the value is up here, the y and x values. Uh, this map, I believe, is a 2000 by 2000 grid, and essentially, there is no limit to where you can go with it. So, yeah. It can load up to 46 million tiles we have tested with no FPS lag. So yeah, you can go anywhere. Then we have here, I'll go selection one again. You can place grass or dirt. You can just paint it around really quick, really easy. You can put, put copper or iron or gold, whatever. You can place it wherever you want. You can't place it in space though, you have to put uh, land first. Then you have trees. You can place more other trees, you can place rock groups. As you can see, Ben has done it all over the place. All works. The yellow things are animal spawns, so that's where the daytime animals will spawn. And the red ones is where the evil zombies will go. And then the green one is where you have a chance to spawn. And when you have died the first time, you will spawn here. Well, on one of the green dudes. And afterwards you will always spawn there. So that will be your base. You can change it in-game though. Okay. So here's where you set your map name, map size. And then you can save it or load another one. If you want to load a map that you made before you type its name here and then you click load. That's what I did with this map called large map. I click load and you have it. So yeah it uh, creates a lot more possibilities for the maps in Spacebit. Obviously we won't revert entirely to self-created maps. The random generated ones will still be available obviously. That's what makes it fun. But there's now a possibility to make your own maps or edit them, edit other maps as you see fit. Alright, uh, that's it. I'm going to do the particle editor next. Okay, so here's the particle editor. Let's click this button. So I'm going to explain you how it all works really quick. The angle is basically the angle at which your object will move. I'm going to input 0, 0, so it will go straight up. Then the fade is um, how far your particle will go before it will start to fade. This number is uh, another variable that uh, influences it. Create is how much particles you will create. I'm going to put it at like, let's say, 50. Motion is how fast it will go. Put it at 1. Life is um, another influencer on when it will begin to start to fade and then when you get fade it will fade to this amount of the scroll bar 
and then the number beside it will uh well it's how long it will uh take to fade so now it will fade really quickly then life it's what i just said let's put it at zero because then it, it won't fade probably spawn is um i forgot what it is let's just put zero always a good idea size is the size of the particle obviously this is really big uh, zero this is how far it will go and then gravity which pulls it down let's put it at 0 0.1 or just one i like one and then you go to list and you create a particle you can create as many as you want and then if you create another and I go to go to that one you see there's nothing inputted here yet but if you go to this one again oh jesus christ it's gone again okay let's put it in again probably a little bug no worries quickly be done uh, 3 and 50 and oh yeah i forgot to click save that's why it was gone um motion uh not a lot not one life let's put it yeah let's just leave it as here spawn two size 500 zero one okay let's click save oh that's really big let's just put it at 200 save there we go that's a really nice effect isn't it i like it let's see if we can create 500 nice let's put power at zero now it's a really nice continuous stream i like really like this particle editor you can do anything you want with it you can really create nice things and you can change the texture let's let go for glow too different glow i really like fire it's my favorite you can really create nice things with it then you can go for smoke it's not really clear though but yeah, it's the smoke that the torches have. And then lastly, it's the snow, which he called liquid, I don't know why. But it kind of looks like rain, but I think it's snow. Anyway, so yeah, you can just play around with all these values, see what you get. Let's let's try adding uh, uh, an angle to it. See, it, uh, it goes around in angles, really cool stuff. Let's alter this one. Now it has a starting motion as I move it around, and then it gets pulled by gravity. Uh, yeah, you can see. Just play around with it. It should come out Monday together with the World Editor. So yeah, I hope you like it and have fun. And thanks for supporting Spacebit. Bye.